Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Thursday. I want to welcome you to our, uh, our morning devotion. Let us start with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to worship you this day. That God, you've been our God. You have guided us and you've led us in everything that we do. God, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who came to us. And here we are this morning proclaiming that Christ is the solid rock on which we stand for all other grounds are sinking sand. Father, help us to believe that Christ came and died for us. Christ uh, came and uh, even before and when he ascends to heaven, he sends uh, to us the Holy Spirit that uh, uh, will be with us to lead us and to help us to witness of the great works of Christ Jesus. Thank you. Even at this time, allow us to continue uh, confessing Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And today, even as we listen from you, we pray that God, here we are, that you may, uh, we are very ready that you may speak to us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, well, very well, brethren, again, welcome today. And uh, today I want to just uh, uh, submit to us about the Spirit or the Holy Spirit that sets us free from every manner of bondage. The Holy Spirit that sets us free from every manner of bondage. Christ Jesus himself, when he was in his ministry, uh, his ministry uh, on earth, uh, even in his early ministries, we see how Christ Jesus, uh, when he grew up, he went to the synagogue and even make his teaching and uh, even the teachers of, of the law, the Pharisees, and the uh, Pharisees were very amazed by how Christ taught. Jesus Christ taught with a lot of authority. And the authority that uh, Jesus Christ taught with it is the authority which uh, was not comprehended. And uh, Christ also, even as he was born in his early ministry, the same. And one time when he go uh, uh, to the synagogue, he taught and he opened the scrolls, the book of prophet Isaiah, and he read in Isaiah 60, the common uh, verse that we know. But uh, just, I'll derive it from, the, from the, uh, his early ministry, and even that place where uh, he mentioned. Uh, just, let me just read the, the word, Luke chapter 4, verse 16 uh, to 20. This is what the Bible says, that he went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, and uh, as, it, as, it was, uh, as was his custom, and he stood up and read the scroll. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, and rolling it, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendants and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. One thing, friend, that I want us to know is that this is a young boy, is a, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and even this is uh, during his very early ministries. And he went to the temple and he started teaching. And he taught with authority. And uh, one thing that caught my attention is that he, he, uh, he asked for the a scroll and he was given. And he opened the, uh, the scroll of the prophet Isaiah when it was handed uh, to him. He opened to a place whereby it's written about how prophet Isaiah prophesied. And he spoke about how the Spirit of God was in him. Basically, Christ here was speaking about him coming as the promised Messiah. He was speaking about the Messiah who, are, who was anticipated or who was expected to come and set uh, 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 the captives free. And for that to happen, Christ was uh, very much determined to make it known to the Pharisees, to make it known even to the people who gathered there to listen from him, that he carries the spirit of the Father. 
Christ there was uh, making it categorical that he has come with the power that they should not expect any other message. You know, Christ was not putting it in, uh, 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 in, in point blank. But it is true that he was trying to tell them that uh, the Messiah who was prophesied, the Messiah who is able to come and even set them free and even heal their sickness and disease ha uh, has already uh, come in form of him. And that's why he said that the Spirit of God is upon me and he has anointed him to preach the good news to the poor. That is number one, that the poor, the, the poor receive the good news. Which good news do the poor receive? They receive good news that even if they are poor, God is able even to make them become rich. So any manner of bondage, I don't know which kind of bondage you are going through. Poor or uh, 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 are living in a life that uh, we are not happy about it is one thing. And we have another thing say that they have come to set free the prisoner, to recover of sight of the blind and to the release of the oppressed. We might have been oppressed in one or the other. We might have been uh, in prison in one way or the other. But Christ today, even as he seeks to talk to us or to speak to us, that he has come through his spirit to set us free from any manner of bondage. Be it that uh, 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 way that we are poor, be it that way uh, uh, that we are in any manner of prison, you know we can be prisoners of our own. That uh, you are not in the prison that we know, the, the, the prison uh, that people are locked inside there, but you are in a certain kind of prison that you cannot get yourself from it. When you uh, turn to the left, you find a very huge block. When you uh, turn to the right, you find a very big uh, wall that is blocking you to make progress. You are in a prison whereby you are contained. You know, a prison is somewhere you cannot make any progress. A prison is where you are limited. Friends, don't limit yourself. Let us enjoy freedom that Christ brought to us. Let us even enjoy freedom of coming out and seeking God. Just imagine, we have days of worship, days of prayer, and even, 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 even if you find that you, you want to just come and have a moment with God, you can just go to any church near, near you, or you can even come to the, our church if you are around and have a moment with God. When Christ speaks about setting free of prisoner, what comes into our mind and into your mind is that we have the spirit, the spirit that uh, assure us that we have that freedom, particularly even when we, we go out and we serve God. He said that the recovery of sight to the blind. Sight to the blind. We might have our eyes, our physical eyes, but we don't see. We can have our physical eyes that we need to seek God to give us sight. We can have our physical eyes, but we need to seek God to view things differently. That we should not even view things with the, with the ordinary eyes. We should not view things with uh, how people, or how the society, or how the world view it. We should view things with the eyes of Jesus. The illuminated eyes of Jesus. Eyes which can see more than what the physical eyes is able to do. To re uh, the release of the oppressed. To some extent, we are oppressed. Why? They are with a lot of stress. With the burdens of this other. The Bible speaks of a, a, a bird, birds of the air. The Bible speaks of the lily, the flowers, that are, God is able to make it beautiful uh, more than even uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, those covering the, the clothes of the, uh, the king, King Solomon uh, and what have you. So, brethren, it's good to note this morning is that to some point we need to seek God to release us. But and not unless we acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit in us, we can be in our bondage. We can be in our place unless we acknowledge that the Spirit of God came in us to just break loose, to break any manner of chain. And speaking of the chain, friends, let us allow Jesus Christ through His Spirit to break that, those we don't know, that generation where you find that things is following up from one stage to another.
Something that happens long time ago is repeating it again at this time. We seek God that any manner of bondage, any manner of chain, any manner of things that does not bring glory to God, any, any manner of things that make us to be stressed up, that we may allow God through His Spirit to take it away from us. Why? That we may proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. That we may proclaim what Christ intends us to do. Not unless we embrace the works of the Holy Spirit in us. We cannot be assured, we cannot be very confident of what God expects us to do, of what God wants us to do. The Bible says that after Jesus did, or after Jesus read that book from Prophet Isaiah, he rolled, he rolled up the, the scroll and he gave it back to the attendant and he sat down. And then from there, you know what happened? The eyes of everyone of the synagogue were fastened on him. Why was that happened? Is because there is a certain kind of revelation they have received. Probably they did not expect that from their Jesus. Probably they, they, have, been, uh, uh, they have been in bondage for a long time. Probably they have been suffered. They, they have been a, a, a poor a number of poor people among themselves. Probably maybe they have a different thought of the Messiah who will come. The one who will come with the chariots with all uh, the, the horses and all those things, the fire and all those things. But at this time, they were amazed. Why? Because they even felt that truly Christ was the promised Messiah. But, but even if all those things happened, they were not fully assured. That's why even later they came, they arrested him. They came even, they, they, they blasphemed him. They came even, they, uh, they even look for uh, tricks to, uh, uh, to arrest him. They accuse him in every manner of those evil things uh, that you know. They are our friends today. Let us allow the Holy Spirit in us, even as we seek him, to break any manner of bondage in our lives. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you are struggling with. I don't know which kind of addiction has been putting you down. Today, as I proclaim to you that may the Holy Spirit that is in you, may the Holy Spirit that we receive, may the Holy Spirit which is the gift that we received from Christ Jesus Christ, uh, 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 from the Father, let everything, any manner, any manner of chain, let any manner of bondage that you are going through break loose in the name of Jesus Christ. So I wish you well. I wish you God's blessing. I wish you upliftment by the Holy Spirit. I wish God to see you through and even to lead you and to get you and to open your eyes that you may view your life, that you may have a different dimension on how you can figure out life or on how you can seek God to lead you and to guide you, you together with your family and all people who are related to you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.